Hi everyone, welcome back to the card table. The three winners of these decks from my last giveaway are revealed below. Guys, please contact me within one week to claim your cards. For everyone else, there is another giveaway coming up, along with some tips on what to do should a trick go wrong. But first, here's one of my favourite card tricks ever. For this, I need you to remember these eight cards, but I've made it easy for you. Four of them are aces, and four of them are kings. So that's four kings, four aces, four aces, four kings. And the kings are placed face up, and the aces are placed face down. And the reason for this is in a moment when the aces do the magic, you'll instantly recognize them. And the rest of the cards I'm going to use to trap the aces with. I take a block of cards and I trap an ace. A block of cards and I trap an ace. And I keep going like this until eventually all the aces are trapped in different parts of the deck. Now watch, right under your noses I'm going to create a moment of pure astonishment. I'm going to make all the aces, the spirit of these cards, rise to the top of the deck and instantly regroup together. And there's only four aces. Now this got me thinking, if the aces come together, then what can I do with the kings? Because the kings are already together. Well, maybe I can instantly separate all four kings to different parts of the deck. I want you to perform the best magic possible. So what should you do if your trick goes wrong? Basically, there are a number of things you could do, but here are three that I suggest. Number one, if you can correct your trick without anyone noticing you have made a mistake or something has gone wrong, then do so. Number two, if you can't correct your trick, then abort it and make another one up on the spot. Nothing fancy, just reveal their selected card in some way and then move on. Colour changes are ideal for this, so maybe have a few tucked up your sleeve just in case. Number three, for whatever reason, if you can't correct the trick on the spot or make use of a colour change or something similar, then just put your hands up and tell your audience that you have made a mistake and that the trick has gone wrong. But never finish your show on a screw up. Just say you will perform an even better trick and then go ahead and do so. Then put your mistake behind you and never mention it again during your performance. But afterwards, you might want to figure out what it was that went wrong to make sure it doesn't happen again. Before I vanish, here's the giveaway to try and win one of these decks. Simply like this video and leave a comment response entry below telling your fellow YouTube subscribers what you would do if one of your tricks went wrong. Three random winners will be chosen by the beautiful Mrs. Field and revealed in a future upload. You can also enter by my Facebook page too, should you wish. That's it. Well done, everybody, and be lucky.